Clowns, of course, come in all shapes and sizes, and every week I will be bringing you some of Australia's greatest clown acts. There's the comical slapstick clown, of course, like pie-in-the-face Bowen, fresh back from his hilarious performance at the COP28 circus in Dubai, where he won Climate Clown of the Year for his hilarious Welcome to Country ceremony in the desert sands of Dubai. Plus, we've got your more traditional clown. Here's Al Bozo, the clown without his makeup on, who's more of a mime artist these days having never recovered from losing his voice last year. Then there's the creepy clown, and there's plenty of those under the Barton big top, or even worse, there's the scary clown. Yes, Pennywise the Clown, created by none other than master horror writer Stephen King, was possibly the scariest clown ever conceived of. He certainly scared the kiddies, witless. Well, vote down here. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha, but ladies and gentlemen, do I have an even scarier clown for you? Pennywise the Clown has been replaced by Penny Wong the Clown. Yes, even Stephen King couldn't create a scarier character than Penny Wong the Clown, crawling straight out of the deepest depths of Labour's factional sewers and the Lake Burley Griffin swamp. Certainly. Nobody was laughing this week when Penny Wong the Clown embarked on her sellout tour of the Middle East, aptly named because she managed to sell out the entire Jewish population of Australia in what the Sydney Morning Herald described as Penny Wong's tightrope act by refusing to visit the site of the October 7 atrocities in which hundreds of Jewish girls and women were raped, murdered and Butchered, which is the equivalent of going on a tourist trip to Treblinka but not bothering to visit the Holocaust Museum there. Showing that even the folk at the Sydney Morning Herald like a good belly laugh, the paper claimed that, quote, Australia's favourite MP, that'd be Penny Wong the Clown, is going to walk a very tight rope. Of course, it's only a scary tightrope act if you're terrified of putting a woke foot wrong, and if you see some clownish cl kind of moral equivalence between Hamas's barbaric butchery and savage murders, rapes, and dismemberments of October 7th, and the legitimate right, indeed responsibility, of the Israeli government to completely annihilate Hamas and destroy its terror network in order to protect its civilian population from Islamist-inspired genocide so that it never happens again. Poor old Penny Wong the Clown, it seems, can't quite get her act together, even though she no doubt had one of Canberra's top bureaucrats from the Department of Foreign Affairs preparing her for her high-wire tightrope act. Here he is. My skit is called Tightrope Walker. Seems, however, that the crowds are not very impressed by Penny Wong. The Australian Jewish Association described it as an outrageous insult to Jews and disturbing behaviour. Quote, The news that our Foreign Minister, Senator Penny Wong, during her visit to Israel, will not visit the southern communities which were subject to the barbaric Hamas terrorism on October 7th is a major shock, said AJA President David Adler, pointing out all those political leaders from the US, the UK and Europe who have done just that, as well as the Liberal Party's own 
Sen Senator Simon Birmingham. Well done, I say, Senator Birmingham. Deputy Leader Susan Lay, Deputy Liberal Leader Susan Lay, said it was unforgivable that Wong did not go. She should see the areas that on October the 7th changed this landscape forever, both politically and for the communities, Susan Lay said.